Hey everyone, welcome back to Mimi Bunker. Today we're looking at Apartment 143. Uh, this is from 2011, brought to us by Carla's uh, Torrens. Uh, this is the story of a family that's, you know, dealing with uh, something, something supernatural in their apartment, in, in their lives, and they call in a team of experts to help them figure this out. This movie has a lot of cliches in it. I mean, you've got the, you've got the angry teen girl, you've got the, you've got the paranormal investigators, you know, who have their little experiments they want to do, and they little talks about some other things along with them being somewhat skeptical about this stuff as they approach it from a scientific point of view. Uh, you've got the dad with the secret, you've got the cute little boy, so <sighs> where this movie suffers the most, I think, is that paranormal activity happened. The movies, paranormal, the paranormal activity movies happened and it really kind of ruined this whole genre because those movies are really not good. I'm not saying this was a good movie. This was an okay movie. I think if it had come out had been available a little earlier, it would probably sit a little better in my mind. But the fact is, is that there's not a lot of really new stuff happening here. It's, it's a lot of noise. You got stuff flying around. There, there's a few things that I like. I like the the the, the approach of of the uh, the lead investigator. His his kind of his staunch adherence to, to science, and that you know you he even had little seemed to have little care about what happened to those around him if that if helping them interfered with his, you know, experiment, his science, his his observation of what is happening. I did like that. Um, but for the most part, like I said, it's it's not a lot of anything new. It's... It doesn't even have a lot of jump scares. It's just, it's a lot of banging and smashing and, and throwing people around. I mean, it does have some of the more violent, uh, I guess, ghosts, or in this they call it a poltergeist, Activity and and their idea, their definition of what a poltergeist is, is 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 different than what I'm used to hearing. So it was nice to see a little twist on that. I mean, scale of one to ten, this is um, it's like when you're when you're making your breakfast and you crack open that egg and it's got a double yolk and you're like, fuck, dude, a double yolk, that's kind of cool. But then you you know you cook it up and you eat it and it tastes just like another fucking egg. So it had that little bit of a difference to it, but it's still a fucking egg. It's, it's not anything new to you. It, it still tastes like an egg. When it's cooked up, it still looks like an egg. You know, the, the yolk gets runny, you sop it up, you toast, you're done. So that that initial moment of, hey, this might be something different, is ruined by the fact that you've, you know, it's it's still, underneath that little thin layer, it's not different. It's the same as 100,000 things you've seen before or 100,000 eggs you've eaten before. And if you haven't eaten 100,000 eggs, I don't know, I probably haven't either. But who knows? It's in there. The eggs are in everything. So maybe I have. But if, if you really loved the Paranormal Activity movies, then I can't help you. But you might enjoy this one because it's actually better than those. As I said, it just suffers from the fact that those movies kind of ruined this. Um, and it just, you know, there's, there's, there's a couple little things that I had fault with, but, you know, overall the movie, it's just, it's, it's nothing truly original. It had a couple of original nuggets in there, but nothing to really set it apart from all the other films that are like this. So, I mean, that's all I have for this one. Until next time, you all stay safe out there in the wasteland, folks.